Doors remain closed at the Star County Tax Office after it was raided by the FBI and several other agencies investigating public corruption. CBS 4's Patrick Shalvier in Rio Grande City has a story. The raid and arrest Wednesday afternoon were one of the largest in years. Now, Star County Tax Assessor Collector Maria del Carmen Peña is facing 18 charges, including bribery and tampering with governmental records. The raid at the Star County Tax Collector's Office included the arrest of Peña and 14 others, including eight from her office. The indictment alleges that Peña and other employees were involved in stealing $700,000 in taxpayer money. Anytime there's money missing, I take that very seriously because I've been entrusted to protect taxpayers' money, not only myself, but most elected officials. And, and when there's money missing, we want to know where it went. According to documents obtained by CBS4 News, Pena allegedly embezzled at least $200,000 from the tax office between 2009 and 2012. She allegedly conspired with clerks to backdate payments and falsify transactions for vehicle registrations to make them appear legitimate. When the case first arrived on Stark County Judge Eloy Vera's desk, he took it upon himself to bring justice to those responsible. Investigators also arrested Tax Office Deputy Director Maria Crisanta Gonzalez, three deputy clerks at the office, and two deputy clerks at the Vehicle Registration Office. District Attorney Omar Escobar says some involved may have had ties to international criminal organizations. There were vehicles that were being registered to persons that did not exist or to false uh, or fictitious addresses. Um, and some of those vehicles were involved in narcotics trafficking the idea of uh, being, of course, to conceal the identity of the persons who the real owners of the vehicles were. That is very disturbing, you know, because we're here not only to, to protect taxpayers' money, but to protect our citizens, you know. The sheriff and law enforcement, uh, all faces of law enforcement, the judicial, that's our main job. The indictment state that the clerks accepted cash for helping Peña's brothers and others pay lower taxes by devaluing a vehicle's worth. While not all public officials uphold the law, Vera wants to assure the public that those who break it will be held accountable. Like any organization this size, uh, we do have some rotten apples. Uh, but I guess the uh, if you could take one good thing out of this is that no one gets away with without paying what they did. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are. We will catch you sooner or later. Vera says he's working diligently to make arrangements to reopen the tax assessor's office and the auto license department by Monday. In Stark County, Patrick Chauvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.